Now, we're going to talk about uh, sowing some broccoli here, but before we do that, I just want to clear something up about the broccoli. Uh, the broccoli that you see in the supermarket, which are the large green heads, um, that's actually called calabrese. Uh, what, what the, the true broccoli is actually a purple sprouting broccoli. There are two varieties. Um, we have a new one now, which is a short season variety that you can sow in the spring and harvest in the autumn time. But more traditionally, uh, broccoli would have been sown early in the year. It grows right through the winter and you're harvesting it in the time called the hungry gap, which is the time in the garden where there's very little, um, there's very little to eat in the garden. So for the short season uh, broccoli, the summer broccoli, uh, when do we put it in? Yeah, because it matures so quickly, you'd really want to do a few sowings. You mm. start off in early April, early May, early June. So three sowings. Okay, great. You get a, a, so you get a good crop over the yeah, whole season. Absolutely. And, and then for the, for the, uh, the, the overwintering broccoli, then when, when do we put that the in? The overwintering broccoli, most people sow them too early. Sow them in June or July, quite late. Okay. You don't want to over, get the plants too big over winter. The bigger they are, the more susceptible they are to frost. Okay. Okay. So the, the way we sow the seeds is we have a modular tray and fine seed compost. And then we fill it up by just rubbing the lumps away. It's so nice and full. Overfill it first. And then don't compress the modules with your fingers. The only firming you need to do is two or three firm bangs, and that'll settle the compost nicely into it. Of course, then we cut off the excess compost. We sow them about fingernail depth, or about one and a half to two centimeters deep. So you make little holes, indentations into the cells. I find it the easiest is to put seeds onto a piece of paper. And with a pencil or pen, you put one seed in each cell. When you're finished, you put fine seed compost, overfill it again, and then scrape it off. And that's it, that's ready. You just water it in gently. Don't overwater. Overwatering is just as bad as underwatering because the seeds may rot away. And that's it. Probably about four to six weeks. All the cabbages, cabbage yeah. family tribe, you know the brassicas so called. Yeah. They're all the same. Yeah. They're yeah. all very quick to germinate within a week and within four to six weeks you can yeah. plant them out. Okay, our broccoli's come up now and uh, we're gonna plant it out uh, here. Uh, Klaus, uh, what's the best soil for, for broccoli? It's quite a hungry plant, isn't it? Hungry plant, you know, it's in the cabbage family, related yeah. to all these, and they're all greedy plants. They all grow big and they're yeah. quite demanding. So yeah. I prefer to space them reasonably far apart, 18 inches each yeah. way. And then you get a reasonable amount from each plant. Sure. Yeah. But when you firm them in, make sure that they're really firm in the ground, like this. Yeah, that's perfect. You can, if you pull there, there's no give to it. Yeah. That's really how it wants to be. Okay. Perfect. The, the only thing you, you have to check them every week is to see if there's any yellow eggs underneath the leaves and they're the eggs of the cabbage white butterfly. Okay. And if you get them before they hatch into caterpillars, they haven't actually done any damage yet. Yeah. Once they're hatched, they crawl all over the plant eating every part of the mm. leaf and you end up with a skeleton within weeks, yeah. within a day, sorry. And you literally just rub the eggs off. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But uh, there's no yellow eggs or caterpillars underneath mm. on any of the brassicas. Yeah. So it's part of the brassica family and it has all the problems. The other problem it might get is the cabbage root fly. Right, yeah. And you'll see the plants turning purple, the leaves turning purple, and that's often the sign that you have it. Okay. And then if you pull the plant up, you'll see white maggots or white powdery stuff yeah. on the roots. And what can we do about that? Um, as a prevention trust, people put collars around. Yeah. And that stops the fly from laying the eggs onto the base of the trunk. Initially, before we planted them, we, we added a generous amount of farmyard manure or compost, which yeah. are whatever you have. Yeah. But even now, the, the plants, you know, they got a bit stressed, so we really want to top dress them with a, some poultry pellets. Plant. Sprinkle them around the plant and uh, the, the weather will work it in. This is a chicken and seaweed pellet, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely fantastic for, for a quick fix, quick boom, high nitrogen, high everything feed. Yeah. So anytime your plant looks a bit, it needs extra food, that works very quickly within a couple of weeks and it lasts for three months. Okay, and you're just sprinkling around them, you Sprinkle. don't have to dig it in. Yeah, if you wish you could do this, but mm. you know, the rain will soften them and the nutrients will be released. To the roots. And why is the pellet with the seaweed as well added much better than just poultry manure? 
So the seaweed has extra trace elements. Mm. It's fantastic fertilizer. That's actually made by composting the seaweed and the poultry pellets Together. first. Compost, uh, no, separately, okay. and then blending it. Yeah. Other poultry pellets, they're often fresh poultry manure. Now we're back with our purple broccoli here, um, and uh, it's been coming on really well. We're, we're kind of in its secondary harvest. What I've done is cut off the first shoots and then it'll start producing a load more. And that's what's so great about this plant. This has been producing now for a couple of months. Um, the variety we're using here is Sante, which is a short season broccoli. And that means I planted it in the spring and uh, it's ready now in the autumn. You can then also get an overwintering broccoli, but I, I like this one because uh, I'm, I'm getting so much from it. So literally you're just cutting off the, the uh, little heads there. And they're lovely. Look at the beautiful purple colours there. And really fantastic. Mmm, just so nice and fresh. It was frosty last night, so they're really lovely and cold and crisp. This is really good. This is what it's all about. And you're going to get mountains of stuff from these. Mm.